The police say the three students who allegedly robbed a taxi driver prior to the incident robbed three students of the St. Hubert Seminary Senior High School. The three are final year students of the Opokuwara School, or WAS, who have been withdrawn from the boarding house by the school authorities for terrorizing fellow students on campus and also breaching some school rules and regulations. According to the police, on Thursday, 11th August 2022, the three students met around Santase in Kumase to plan their robbery spree. According to the prosecution, around 11.30 p.m. on the same day, the three allegedly robbed one Kwesi Mohammed, a commercial driver, after they hired his services. The police say the accused persons boarded a vehicle at Santase roundabout and informed the driver they were going to the Golden Tulip Hotel, but on arrival, they asked the driver to rather proceed to Rattery Park where they began the attack on him. According to the police's charge sheet, the three students struggled with the driver as one stabbed him in the neck and he was beaten and dragged to the back seat and one of the students took over the wheel of the vehicle. The prosecution disclosed that the students took an amount of 150 Ghana cities from the driver and asked him to give them whatever money was left in his possession. On reaching Ahojo, the student who was driving the vehicle at the time lost control hit a wall and damaged the vehicle. The students began running away, but the driver alerted people who were around at the time and two of them were arrested. The third student was arrested later. Appearing before the Kumasi Metropolitan Assembly KMA Circuit Court on Tuesday, 16th August 2021, the three were charged with conspiracy to commit robbery, robbery and unlawful damage. His Anna, Abdul Razak Musa, who presided over the case at the KMA Circuit Court, granted the three an 80,000 Ghana cities bail with five sureties each. Appearing before the court on Thursday, September 1, the prosecutor, ACP Kofi Blagoji, said the police are still conducting investigations into the matter and are hopeful that the case management conference will begin on the next agenda date. He spoke to City News after the court proceedings. Basically, what happened today was that uh, the court asked us to file our witness statements and then uh, the disclosures. And then they slated it on the 6th of October, so that if we file it before 6, then there'll be case management, which will be done, then the prosecution will go on. Yeah, because of the national interest, this matter is carrying. So we wanted to ensure that the prosecution will go on as early as possible, to ensure that the accused person and his counsel have received all the documents that the prosecution will rely upon in their prosecution.